guys, it's Melanie and welcome to Mask Monday. So today we are going to be talking about the Paracone MD Preempt Series Refreshing Shower Mask. I'm really excited to share this video with you guys because to, this video today is actually a precursor for tomorrow's video which is going to be a larger, more in-depth review of my experience with the Preempt skincare line overall. You guys know I'm always honest with you when things are sent to me for consideration. There is a PR company that contacted me and asked me if I was interested in reviewing the Paracone MD line. They gave me a choice of the different lines to be able to review. I chose Preempt because it suited my skincare needs the best. So as you guys know, I have enlarged pores, I have oily skin. This particular line is geared towards addressing those issues specifically. If you are drier or have a more um, like sensitive skin type, um, there are other lines from Paracone and MD that might be a better fit for you. So I will be sure to link those down below as well so that you can maybe look into those and see if any of those products intrigue you enough to take the plunge and um, see if they work for you. So um, tomorrow's video we'll talk about the rest of the skincare line. I went ahead and pulled out the shower mask for Mask Monday because it just fit in with my theme here. And um, so I've been intrigued by the Paracone MD line for quite some time. I really like a lot of the ingredients that they use. And this particular preempt line, like I said, is a great fit for my skincare issues that I have. And I have to, you know, just a little bit of a spoiler for tomorrow's video. I have really enjoyed using the entire line and I have definitely noticed a difference and a change in my skin that um, maybe some other products, you know, got me to a certain point, but I feel like I got a boost by using this particular line. And one of the products that I really, really love from the line is actually the mask. So I'm glad that I get to focus on this specifically. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about um, the ingredients, what they're supposed to do, and then tell you how to use it and what my thoughts are on it. So just to make sure I don't miss anything, I am reading some of the information from the box. So the main ingredients, um, and these are all naturally derived ingredients here in this product. Um, so Cress Sprouts Turmeric, which I have been reading a lot about for both internal benefits, you know, like taking a turmeric supplement, um, and then also topically as well. So that was one of the ingredients that definitely made me think this is something that I absolutely want to try. They have olive leaf in here as well as green tea. Um, and then they have something unique to Paracone MD, which is a unique formulation that they have called NRF2 Antioxidant Support Complex. And this is a unique breakthrough complex derived from nature to boost antioxidant production. So anytime that you are looking at ingredients that have a lot of antioxidants or products that have a lot of antioxidants as their main ingredients. Those are going to be really good for addressing a lot of aging issues as well. So fine lines, wrinkles, texture issues. Um, antioxidants are a really great way to approach treating those particular issues. So the benefits of this mask are, they say that it is activated by the shower's heat and steam to maximize softening and smoothing benefits. It is supposed to wake up the skin with a fresh cooling sensation, and it definitely does that. And it's supposed to soften and smooth the skin overall. Um, so the, um, the way that you use this is really kind of unique. I've used a lot of um, overnight sleeping masks. I've never used an in-shower mask before, so this is something that was really different to me. You basically wash your face when you first get in the shower, and then you take about a quarter size of this, and you spread it all over your face. The texture of it um, is really unique because it's a gel, but it doesn't slide off. You'd think putting a gel mask on a wet face would cause it to just sort of like, poop, like slide right off. It doesn't. It actually sticks to your skin and you are able to go about the rest of your business in the shower, just wash, condition your hair, shave your legs, whatever else is that you normally do on a daily basis. And um, at the end of your shower, the last thing that you do is rinse off the mask. 
So I tend to use this about twice a week. I've used it pretty sparingly because I've actually noticed that the benefits of it last for a couple days after. You can certainly use it every day, every other day if you want to. It's a little bit spendy for that. <laughs> In my personal opinion, this is $50. It is 2.5 fluid ounces. So for me, using it two times a week has been really great. So what I notice is when I put it on, I do get a slight cooling sensation. It's not um, crazy. It's not uncomfortable or anything like that. It just feels really nice and soothing, especially in the morning. Um, I do take my showers in the morning to get ready for the day and it just feels really soothing and cooling. Um, when I am showering, that cooling sensation tends to, um, it stays pretty like active, like it, it doesn't ever really go away, which is kind of nice, um, especially in the summertime. It just feels really refreshing when it's really hot out starting pretty early in the day. So it feels nice to have that sensation on my face. When I rinse the mask, it just, my skin not only feels really hydrated, it feels plumped um, and it looks soft and there's like if there's any like slight textural issues going on, maybe a couple of dry spots or whatever, they just seem to rinse away. And I when I step out of the shower and I look in the mirror, I notice that my pores feel really tightened. Um, and my skin just looks good. You know, it doesn't look like pink or anything. A lot of times when I get out of the shower, I like to take a really hot shower. So um, that's not good for your skin, just so you guys know, but it's just something I've done my entire life. So my skin will be kind of pink because the water really is uncomfortably hot. <laughs> When my husband like feels the temperature of the shower when I'm in it, he's like, how can you even stand under that? I just, I love, I love taking hot showers, but my skin just looks like it's natural color. It's not irritated. It, and it's so soft, you guys. It honestly feels amazing. And my makeup glides on beautifully. This is a really, really nice mask. Um, the Paracone MD products, like I said, are definitely splurge-worthy types of products. Um, not everybody's going to be able to run out and get the whole line. Um, tomorrow I will share with you the other skincare items that I think are worth splurging on. I'm glad that I got to pull this one aside because this is one that to me is worth splurging on and that I could see myself absolutely repurchasing just to be able to have in the shower on an ongoing basis. It just honestly makes my skin feel so amazing. Um, do I think it's a must-have? No. No skincare is really a must-have. But it's something that I notice that gives my skin the extra boost that I haven't noticed from other in-shower products before. So there's no cleanser that I've used that gives me the same effect as this. There's no scrub that I've used that gives me the same effect as this. Um, it's just a really great way to get out of the shower and have my skin totally ready to go for my serums, um, for my eye cream, and then, you know, my moisturizer when I get into the office here and start putting on my makeup. It's a really great product, you guys. Um, I would definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you do have enlarged pores or if you have overly oily skin. I really do think that the line in general has balanced my skin more than some other products have. There are other products that have addressed other issues that I've had. You know, a lot of like textural things have been taken care of by some other products. Um, pore size have, it, it has really improved in me. But I've noticed that my oil production has seemed significantly less than when I started using this line. Like it's been, I think I've had it for about three and a half weeks. It's almost been a full month at this point. And I have definitely noticed a difference in my oil production. So that is something that is really unique to this particular line. And I'm a fan because you guys know the thing that I complain about the most is having really oily skin. I do think that this product has helped to balance that, um, especially during the daytime. 
and I just really have enjoyed it. So if you're curious about the rest of the products in the line and um, you know how they feel on the skin and what they've done, definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video and um, I will talk about that a little bit more there. If you have any questions about the mask in general, definitely leave it down below in the comments and um, I'll see you guys in my video tomorrow. Take care. Bye.